everybody. Hello guys. And welcome to our channel Southern Bells where we are about to make the world's easiest dessert. dessert. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, my name's Wanda. And I'm Rebecca. And this is, a, this is a dessert that is so simple it's embarrassing. But it's delicious. <laughs> and we take this to a lot of different events. Um, church, church dinners, school gatherings. Yeah, I've made it for my students before and Everybody seems to love it, and then when they ask us for the recipe, it's it's really kind of embarrassing <laughs> because it only takes three ingredients. It takes milk, whipped cream, and chocolate chip cookies. And any kind of chocolate chip cookies. These came from Aldi. They don't have to be the expensive, what, Chips Ahoy or anything right. like that. It can be any kind of cookies and any kind of cookie. We have friends who have made it with Oreos before, but just so you know, they did say the chocolate chip was the best. And I think they decided that they needed to use the thin Oreos for instead of the thick Oreos. Oreos. Okay, but all we're going to do is we're going to take the milk and we are going to pour it into this bowl. Doesn't even have to be a super large amount. Then you take the cookies out of the sleeve. And here's our bowl. And we are going to take the cookies and what dip it in the milk. That's right. And we have washed our hands, by the way. Yes, our hands are very clean. <laughs> and we're just going to layer it in the bottom of the dish. In a single layer at the bottom. You want a single layer. And if it does, you know, if you need to, to um, break them to make them fit, that's fine because it's not going to matter. And I don't have to be very neat with it. I'm just dipping and dropping. <laughs> <laughs> and my husband loves this as well. This is so tempting. I just want to take a big bite of a cookie right now. Okay, so. She told me I couldn't though. Yeah, I, well <laughs> not until we're done. Uh, so here we have our first layer. And the thing is, you can make as many layers as you want of it. Okay, and here's my spatula that says, it's all about that cake, about that cake. <laughs> <laughs> no pie. No pie. <laughs> oh, so I'll look, I had to look. Okay, that's what it said. <laughs> okay so I'm just going to take the whipped cream and I'm going to spread it over this layer. This is a great dessert for your children to help you with. Your children can even make it. I mean, you don't have to worry about them burning themselves or using any sharp knives or anything like that. Or they don't even have to know how to measure. No, no, you just kind of do as much of it as you want. Okay. All right, so you get that first layer. And then you're going to put another layer of chocolate chip cookies on top of the whipped cream. Same thing. You dip and drop. And I don't know what happens to it because you do you do want to let it refrigerate for a little while. You don't you don't want to make it and then immediately eat, eat it because you want the cookies to actually to the chill. You want them to be a little chill. But you they also get more. I don't know if dissolved is the word. They like assimilate into the whipped cream somehow. You don't have any crunch anymore um, to them. They get really doughy, so it's almost like cookie dough yeah. instead of a crunchy cookie. And this recipe, my grandmother used to make this for us in the summertime. I mean, I can remember her. My, my grandmother was on a walker, but she didn't let that stop her. She still Not canned. She still did everything as far as gardening goes. She was she was an amazing lady. Mm -hmm. um, I called her Mammy. That was our name. We had Mammy and Big Papa, and my kids actually got to know her. Yes, she always used to keep those circus yeah. peanuts in a jar, and every time we went to her house, she would give us milk and those circus peanuts. <laughs> so, yeah, and also um, Cheetos. Yeah, Cheetos too. Sweet tea sometimes. Uh huh. Like really sweet tea. <laughs> My brother used to love the Cheetos, but then he grew up and didn't like cheese anymore. So, who can explain the mind of a male? <laughs> but I remember her making this, and I remember on on a summer day, it is so good. I have made this at Christmas 
time for my students though and just decorated it a little bit differently. Yeah, you can put like sprinkles on top of it, like red and green sprinkles for Easter, I mean for Christmas. <laughs> so there's the second layer, and since this is a little bit deeper dish, we're gonna go ahead and do a third layer. I have done two layers before. It's really just however much you want. Yeah. This is when you guys need smell-o-vision, so you can smell the chocolate chip cookies and whipped cream. And then taste a vision. <laughs> I think we're going to actually have to go into that next container of Cool Whip. I think you're right. I'll go ahead and open it up for us. My husband likes it when we don't do a whole container of Cool Whip because then he gets to have the. He <laughs> loves Cool Whip. He does love Cool Whip. And he loves his dessert. I might have already said that. I told you it was easy because basically this is it. That's right. This is it. You you do want to put it, like I said, in the refrigerator. If you leave it overnight, it's actually even better. But it, at least a couple of hours to let everything do what it does. And what I like to do, I don't know if you know this or not, um, but what I like to do when I make it and take it places, just for decoration and to give people kind of an idea of what's inside, I like to crumble up a cookie mm -hmm. and sprinkle it on the top of the dish once you're finished with your last whipped cream layer. So I'll go ahead and do that in here in just a minute. That's mm -hmm. exactly what we do. And I have, um, like at Christmas time, I have taken red or green sprinkles and put on top of it. Now the kids really like that. I guess you could even put food coloring in the whipped cream if you wanted to. You could. And make it real colorful. We tried to come up with a name for it, like cookies, cookies on, on a cloud. <laughs> <laughs> now we just call it cookie dessert. But there are three people, especially at our church, who just love this. And that is all there is to it. So if you have a dinner that you forgot about or something, a church a church dinner or some kind of social and you are you don't have time to do anything big make this and I promise you you'll get compliments you will you will get a lot of compliments on it all right well, let's throw it in the refrigerator and then we'll test it out that's right okay so after it chills for a couple of hours then you just dish it out and I'll show it up, show it to you up close. It's kind of what it looks like. And then you get to taste it. Mmm. And it's a real winner. When my husband realizes that we have it in here, um, it won't last. Long. It won't last. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> So, we hope you try it. Um, like I said, very easy, very affordable, very quick. So, give it a try and tell us what you think. Thanks, guys. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.